Hello and welcome back to another daily cubing video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to one of the simplest ways to set up a 2x2. Two two. Um, this is going to be for beginners so uh, this is just one of the simplest ways other than you know just randomly putting the lube in the puzzle but this is just a quick tutorial for beginners. So this is a Diane 2x2. Two two. It's I think it's a knockoff or something because I got it, I ordered stickerless, I got a really bad white stickered puzzle so I think it's a knockoff and so um, I'm just going to be setting it up. This is meant for non Diane Zanchis uh, but I'm just using a Diane Zanchi just to for example um, because my other cubes are already set up so I just set them up today um, so first I think you're going to want to lube take your lube it doesn't matter what lube you have I have lubical silk which works for me and then Maru I think they're both really good Maru you might have to replace every once in a while uh, quite often, but um, it shouldn't be that bad. Maru tends to go into the cube much easier, so I'll use that in the internals. Um, but right now, just open up your cube a little bit, put a few drops of whatever lube you're l using right here. Just, just like right in there one and then you can kind of lube the sides too. So I'm putting one on that piece and a little bit on the sides. And then break it in a little bit. Should turn much better. You don't need a lot, just a few drops, if even a few drops. And so here it's actually pretty good now. Now I'm going to do the internals, and so the die-in 2x2 is really easy to pop, but uh, to take apart, but most 2x2s nowadays have like anti-pop mechanisms, so they're not going to be able to come apart as easily. So you have to like work it out, you have to like work a hole in between there or something like that, like I am doing now, and then kind of hold it with one hand. Let's see if I can do this. There's a hole here. Right there. So, and then take your Maru to get in the hole. And just a few drops. There we go. So that should be in the internals now. And now it should be fully looped. Next, what you want to do, it turns really nicely now compared to how it was before. It should. So now what you want to do is you want to tighten it or loosen it to your liking. Now, one way to check if it's good or not is to corner cut it. If it corner cuts easily, um, as this thing is obviously not doing because it's a knockoff, but if it corner cuts really easily, then you can, then you're perfectly fine. And um, I mean, if if it turns perfectly fine to your liking, then go ahead and keep it that way. But if it's like too tight or too loose, and if the if the corner twists easily, you might want to tighten it. If it corner, like if it's locking up while you're turning it, you might want to loosen it. So you want to make sure it doesn't corner twist for the cubes that do corner twist. But this is how you tension it. Of course, going right will tighten it and going left will loosen it, of course. But um, when you tension it, just do like a quarter of a turn. Um, 
just like that just a little bit and then do it on every side just a little bit don't don't go too far don't go too loose and this is actually a pretty good cube now it still like pops though so but I really like how this turned out um, with the lube and everything uh, so yeah that's how to set up a 2x2 for beginners I hope this helped wasn't that good but uh, this is for beginners it's not meant to be advanced or anything um, so look at someone else's video if you want a more advanced tutorial but always make sure to tighten it or loosen it a little at a time. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching.